There we go, folks. Welcome back. Um, it's great to have you watching Sport Federation TV. And as you know, this is the sport that looks after a lot of the sport codes in the Western Cape. And of course, we've had Mark Beek from Physically Disabled on the show with us on a number of occasions to to uh, tell us uh, what's uh, what, what's active in the Western Cape and across the six districts. Uh, but joining me now on the line is uh, Wenzel Barnard and um, uh, Renette von Mollendorf. Uh, hello, Jelle uh, Twee. How are you doing there, Jelle? Good self, JP. Yeah, good self. Uh, this is the first time we've done this on the show. Yet. Um, I've got to ask you, um, uh, have you been able to do any, 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 any exercise uh, uh, during the lockdown period? Uh, well, JP, I think like most everybody, we started with a bang and doing some exercise at home, but slowly but surely, I think it... Uh, tend to get less and less and less. Um, I don't know, luckily for me or unluckily for me, I injured my shoulder, so I had to take a bit of a rest there. So tell us a little and bit about that, um, um, Wenzel, and, and maybe Renette on your side as well. We're going to specifically, we're going to ask you tonight about goalball, which I think uh, is, is a fascinating sport. I've had some exposure to it myself, but we're going to need you to give us a little bit more information about that. But Wenzel, just give us a, some bit of background in terms of your position in, in, uh, at Physically Disabled and the code that you look after and how you're involved with Physically Disabled. Okay, yeah, JP. Um, like uh, I must, myself, I was uh, involved in sport heavily. I started with swimming. I did that for quite some time. And then I got into wheelchair rugby. And then I also injured my shoulder there. Did some hand cycling and then some other uh, problems that fun tend to push me out. But in the, in, in the meantime, I was involved on the admin side as well. Um, so that I started the sports stuff at Marty's uh, uh, University of Stalabos, the Marty's Parasport. And uh, yeah, so I'm known as sports manager there. And we're focusing on five different sports coaches at the, at the club at this stage, goalball being one. That's fantastic. Renette, uh, tell us a little bit more about that. What is goalball? You're so involved at Physically Disabled. You're, you're involved at the Cape Wineland space and at Marty's Parasport. But, but give us an explanation. What is goalball? Goalball is a sport specifically for the visually impaired. Um, it's a sport that's been developed in 1946 for the guys that um, the soldiers that end up blind um, during the war and um, they had to find a way to keep those guys going and active and um, yeah uh, just part of um, society again so yeah it's a, it's it's the only sport that's not adapted from an able-bodied sport so um, it's a ball um, the ball is about the size of a basketball with little bells in it and all the players on the court, there's three on the side, so um, six players on, a, on the court. It's indoor sport, obviously. And all the players um, is blindfolded. And then they have to, we, we say throw, but it's underarm throw, throw the ball, um, because it needs to stay on the ground for most of the times for the other team to be able to hear the ball. And then you have to block the ball with your body before it goes over the goal line at the back. Is it, why if it's, if it's for the visually impaired, are you wearing masks? It's just to um, get everyone on the same level because um, I might be, um, we, we also have like a B1 or a B2 classification, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> we also have classification. So your B1s will yeah. be, for example, your totally blind um, um, people. Right, or okay. um, and no. then your B2s and B3s, yeah. So yeah. everyone needs to be on the same level. You see, this this is what uh, what we I think is 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 good for all of, all of us to understand is that in disability sports there is different categories, uh, um, as you call them, and 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 that helps I think all of us to understand um, the dynamics of. Um, of PD, as you know, that's your 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 how you term uh, the, the sport code PD, physically disabled. And and now we know that people watching the show can understand when we talk about PD sport, we're talking about physically disabled sport. Vensa, let's go to you a little bit. Uh, Para sport, um, it's enormous globally. It's got its it's it's got its own Olympic movement. But you're talking about um, five different codes that you are concentrating on at Marty's. Yeah. Um, JP, originally when we moved the club, the club used to be in, in, in the Albert in Somerset West. But the problem we had, they were finding there's a lot of students that were coming to study at Stellenbosch. 
Now they still in the Stellenbosch and the club is over in, in Somerset West and they want to have access to the facilities and there was just a problem, you know, finding the right people and so on. And then sometimes, you know, just by chance, the right things fall in place yeah. and we were asked if we could move the club there. So, yeah, so we started at university, so we got the facilities and the bulk of the guys at that stage were doing the track racing chairs and there were some athletes, swimmers, uh, wheelchair rugby guys and then also the, the visually impaired. And slowly but surely, uh, some of the guys uh, finished studies, they moved away, or some of the, the younger guys got into jobs. So the, the um, shift was more towards athletics, which is obviously the, the biggest uh, part of sport for disabled in South Africa. And now our core guys is, uh, is the athletics. And then we've got a few swimmers and the goalball and the wheelchair rugby guys. The paracyclists, uh, they literally in one or two people that's really active at this stage. So we're trying to draw in new blood. You know, everything is like a, your waves. You've got suddenly there's a lot of people and suddenly but sure they will go out and you're yeah. in that bottom and you have to start building again. Wenzel, I've got to ask you the question. It's Women's Month. How are we doing for women's sport in physically disabled? Um, JP, we are lucky to have a strong group of women at, at the club. Uh, one of them being Andrew Neibayers. And uh, she's one of the nominees for the G Sports Awards for Women in the category Female Athlete with a Disability. So if um, the people from the Western Cape can go onto that website, uh, log in and vote for her, I think uh, I would appreciate it from the club side and she also, if she can be a winner, because we've got a good record on that show, on that um, platform in terms of winners and nominees for the G Sport Awards. So that's Anrune Weyers, nominated for the G Sports Awards, and uh, we're asking the public to go and vote for Anrune on the G Sports Awards website. Yeah. Fantastic stuff. Um, and then, um, Renette, let me come to you. Um, Goalball, it's Women's Month. Same question. How are we doing for women's sport in physically disabled? Well, I must say, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit sad to say that I really try to get more women involved um, in playing goalball. Everyone thinks that um, it's a bit of a, not a woman's type of game, but I think it's it's a nice team sport. So, um, yeah, for now, we're a bit low on, on female players, but... Um, that's that's definitely in the plan for for the future um, to to see more juniors coming through um, as well as female players coming through. Um, normally, when it's not locked down, we have a women's month um, tournament or just a fun day with goalball just to get well anyone yeah. able body just able just get them involved and just have some fun um, so, so that we can get people um, get involved in global in diff on different levels um say a, a trainer or player or volunteer or whatever so yeah, yeah there's always a place for a newbie i'm going to say thank you very much to both of you for joining us uh we'll obviously uh stay in touch and and keep promoting uh physically disabled sport and renette hopefully uh, through this show we know that folks can of course visit the western cape sapd site on facebook but hopefully through the show and the exposure and, uh, and the stories we're speaking about today, hopefully a lot of people will join you and uh, become goal ball players. They're more than welcome. <laughs> Thanks, Thank JP. You. There we go, folks. Um, uh, Vence Barnard and Renette van Mollendorf, both from Physically Disabled here in the Western Cape. And uh, if you want to find out how to get involved, if you want to get, find out how to get involved um, with Physically Disabled and you want to join a club, just go and look for uh, Western Cape SAPD. Uh, just do a search there on Facebook and um, uh, get in touch with them via the message there. And as, uh, as um, Vencel said, um, somebody will guide you through the process. Uh, but it's, it's, uh, there's certainly some great stuff happening at, at Western Cape SAPD at the moment.